Do you want to learn how to get the pump action shotgun in Red Dead Redemption 2? Then stay tuned because I'm about to show you how to do it. Hey, hey, YouTube! This is Gamer Corey, and today I am coming back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how and where to get the pump action shotgun early in the game if you guys haven't already found it and don't want to spend a lot of money doing it. So, if you guys are enjoying these types of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And also don't forget to go over to my website, GamerCorey.com, if you guys want to get signed up for my giveaways. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this video. The first thing that I have to say about this game is I love the cinematic modes. And you can even change it. I didn't even know that you could do that until recently. But check this out. All you have to do is push down on the right joystick. At least that's what it is for the Xbox. And you get some amazing, amazing views. And you can actually control the camera view a little bit, like angle. But look at that background. The scenery in this game is fantastic. I love it. Anyway, let's exit out of cinematic mode and kind of get to this. This is awesome. I love it. Early morning sunrise. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave my horse here. It's not like it really matters, but I'm going to go ahead and take... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my... Let's see, I got my carbine repeater. And let's do... Um, I think I'm going to do the land chest. The Lancaster. Now, you can actually get this gun early in the game, too. So go ahead and check my video out if you guys haven't seen that one already as well. So horse dude don't make me shoot you okay calm calm yourself down darn arabians they're so picky so fussy sometimes they freak out about everything all right anyway as you can see on my map oh my gosh i should probably show you exactly where i'm at first huh so we are at chez porter cabin in this area right here. It's really close to Window Rock as indicated right here. Now it's pretty much straight north of Valentine. And you can get access to this pretty much right at the beginning of the game in Chapter 2. Now I'm a little bit further than that at the current moment. But yeah, this is... Uh this is where you need to go in order to get this. Now, the nice thing about this area as well is there's three cabins. There's a cabin here. There's this main cabin, and this is actually a barn here. There's some ginseng up here. There's a few horses that you can study, just in case you haven't found those breeds at, at all yet in the game. And there is a lot of loot to be found up here and the shotgun. So, yeah, that's, let's go ahead and get on up here, shoot me some O'Driscolls, and... Have a good day doing it, so shall we? And I'm gonna listen to a little bit of what they have to say. I tell the envies right here. I don't want no different. But you, me, Ma Finney, we spoke road now. Yeah. The outlanders will blandish you. Surely they will. No, you got to keep strongly for the awakening. But on 20 years we wait. We got to keep clean now, don't you? Now goes watch the shed, you dippy plimic. Oh my. Spunks his top again. Any folk steps on this soil. They don't leaves. Okay, now? They don't leaves. They weaves. Katie. Okay, so there's definitely a woman here. I don't really want to have to shoot a girl, but... Uh, it's an Odrisco, so it's... The, oh, my gosh. I, I don't want to have to do this, but it's it's indicated in red. So what I should do is I kind of wanted to shoot this guy without using any type of... Let's go ahead and stand up. And... Boom! Oh... Oh, shoot, shoot. Did I get her? No? I can't see. A tree's in the way. Okay, uh, here we go. I'm going to shoot him through the fence, though. Oh gosh, seriously? Okay, uh, 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 let's go to the pump action, or not pump action, that's what I'm trying to get. Saw it off shotgun. How are you, how am I not hitting you? Okay, can we get high behind a tree though, please, for now? Thank you. Um, wow, my, my dead eye, I forgot how dead eye, my crappy my dead eye is here. Where, I swear I just saw somebody run that way. Where's the other one at? Where is, where's this guy at? There he is. 
seriously. Yo, Driscoll boy. Did I get him? Now I got him. Okay, let's go and reload my... Is this my Lancaster? I can't... I didn't remember which one I picked. Yes. Lancaster. Alright, there should be one in the barn. I can't tell if it's up top or down below. Oh, yeah, up there. Hello, lady. Want to show your face? Okay, let's just... I'm just going to go and have some fun with her. Uh, not that kind of fun. Just kind of throw that out there. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my sawed off a shotgun really hello I know you're up there how'd that feel you gonna stand up oh yeah you're done for anyway this is where we actually want to start anyway man this sawed off shotgun oof it is pretty sweet um Gosh, those horses need to just calm down. All right, so anyway, if you're in this area and you need some free loot, there is, I think, what, six people in this area that we can get some... 56 cents, really? I just got done saying that you guys had some good loot on you, and you gave me 56 cents. Anyway, there's a chest at the top, or this uh, loft area of this barn, so let's go ahead and search that. Those horses are getting seriously annoying. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to go shoot them right now. Anyway, uh, money stack. We're going to go ahead and take that. We're going to get 50 bucks from this. And then the next one, uh, this uh, we got another 50 bucks. And then we got a large jewelry bag that we can pick up as well. So that's a really nice contents of this chest. Okay, I got to go take care of these horses. Let's go calm these heifers down. I mean, I know they're not cows, but seriously though. Look at these things. Will you calm the flip down? Thank you. Good gravy. Hard to talk over you guys. All right, let's go over here and let's go ahead and do some more looting. Because this is pretty essential at the very beginning of the game. To just pick up some extra cash. Now, a lot of these guys seem to have like two to three bucks on them all the time. Really? I've only gotten 56 cents so far from these guys. Two sage. Oh, well, this is apparently a, a, a terrible example. Anyway, let's go and pick this. If you guys haven't found Alaskan ginseng, it's right in this area as well. So that will help you guys out with that. And it's used to replenish health in the area at a campfire. So can you give me some good loot, please? Pretty please? Pretty please? Four dollars. There we go. Oh, we got and we got some predator bait. So now we can do some more hunting if we need to. We got 460 from that fella. The lady only gave us 56 cents. She's obviously the one in charge because everybody else is carrying the money. I don't really know if that makes any sense or not. Uh, and then we got the last guy, which is hiding over here in the corner. What are you going to give us? What are you going to give us? Now, now you can actually study all these breeds if we need to. I thought there was two horses over here. Maybe not, but there was two over here. So if you haven't already found these breeds in the game, you can get a couple of them really quick. But man, the American paint and what are what are you? This looks like a thoroughbred, Tennessee Walker. Um, they are spooked easily. I guess I don't know. I don't really ride those horses. I have an Arabian and it's bad enough. So at least at this point in the game, I have an Arabian. Um. Let's see. Then you can actually go inside here. There's a lot of different things that you guys can pick up. I'm not going to pick up everything, but it's a great way to get some free stuff early in the game. I know there's some cigarettes right there. At least I can see them. And it looks like we got a dresser drawer that we can search right there. But now we need to head on over to the main cabin because this is where our pump action shotgun is going to be. Now, there's a couple different uh, cabinets that we can search here, and then we have an armor over there that we can search, and a few things like on the table. I can't remember. See, we got more premium cigarettes. Looks like a map. I don't know. Can you actually examine this map? I don't think you can. We can take the bourbon, because we always need a good drink after a firefight like that. And, yes. Yeah, so now if we make our way on over here... 
we can uh, we can get our pump action shotgun. So make sure you go through the left door and then go up this ladder right here. And inside this case is going to be our pump action shotgun. Not sh pump action shotgun. Now the one thing that we're gonna want to do right away is we well, obviously we need to exchange it out. So I already dropped my Lancaster repeater, which I don't know where it's at. It's right there. Okay. So now just keep an eye on this. So. I this has been happening to a couple other people, but you don't necessarily need to worry about this gun right here. It is flashing for me, but for the most part, it should show up um, on your horse. And wait, that was was that the that was the pump amp? Yeah, let's go ahead and clean this bad boy. Um, I think that was the Lancaster. Anyway, at least I'm pretty sure. All right, so that's. That's a beauty right there, and oh, it's a carbine repeater, so it's the, not the Latin caster. So we're going to come down this little bit of a ladder here, and we're going to go and head on over to Valentine. But the quite, the first thing that I wanted to let you know is after I get out here, we can call our horse, is it should show up. I think it should be blinking on our mini map. And so you can see it there on the mini map inside of the cabin. But when we go in and call our horse... It should be there here in just a moment uh, as a weapon in order to um, swap out on our horse. Where is our horse? Okay, decided to run through the woods apparently and not on the path. Don't take the easiest way. See, now it vanished from the cabin. Okay, did you see that? Now if we go ahead and scroll through here. There it is. See, now it's on the, the horse. So, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and head on down to Valentine and customize this bad boy because there are a lot of options. Now, just keep in mind that as we go down to Valentine, we did just get Rick in like 150 bucks after looting everybody and it will cost us maybe $35 in total to get the things that you need in order to prove its accuracy and its range. So, but we'll, you'll see that here in just a moment. All right, so we've made it down to Valentine and I have a bounty on me that I don't remember okay. what I did exactly in this area. Sure. Was it from when we caused all the issues in Valentine? It might've been, I don't really remember. Greetings. Anyway, let's go and talk to this today? gunsmith and we're gonna go and customize our weapon just like we've done many other times in the past. We're going to go ahead and pull out our pump action shotgun. And this is what I was talking about. Good. We're going to go into components no barrel and we're going to go ahead and lengthen see. this. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? Yeah, I will be getting new sights for it. So you better make sure that you have some in stock because I'm going to be buying them. Anyway, let's go ahead and go back. We added the length for the long barrel there to improve its uh, accuracy a little bit. And then we're going to do the range with improved rifling. So that's $30 right there. And then last but not least is the iron sights for $450. So roughly $35 is what we're going to be spending on this build out to improve its stats a little bit. Now you can have definitely get better um, ammunition for it to improve the damage and range and some other things. I don't even worry about stock or wrap, especially this early in the game because... It really doesn't make any difference. It's it's more about personal preference and more about um, visualization and aesthetics versus function and efficiency. So anyway, that's all I really have for this video. If you guys are enjoying these videos, then definitely leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you have found it very beneficial for you guys. Also, don't forget to go over to my website, GameRecord.com, if you guys want to get registered for some of my giveaways but until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're doing it, and you guys stay gaming.